There is this conversation that featured in the dailies. It was bringing on board Jeremiah Kioni. We, we also had Mwangi Wairia. And at the same time, we had, um, you know, Maina Njenga. So they were saying that they are not happy with the way endorsement of Railo Dinga is coming through and is developing thick and fast. And they feel like they were betrayed. Not even betrayed per se, but based on who and who is coming on board to support Raila Molodinga. Now, for instance, they are saying that due to the fact that Kenya Kwanza is now coming gun blazing to support Raila Molodinga in totality, they feel that there is a very, very dubious action that Raila Molodinga performed so that everything about his bid at the AUC is only known to him and maybe with Kenya Kwanza because Kenya Kwanza is the government. So in other words, they are saying that there is a game that Raila Odinga played, which according to them is looking like a betrayal game. So when you go down in history, they are trying to recollect and find out that this could be something that Raila Odinga has always mastered to the extent that when he is making a certain big move in politics, not everybody in his life, I mean, the political cycle gets to know the step that he's making. But anyway, if you look at that, it's very true. Raila knows exactly the extent that he goes to inform the people about the next move that he's taking. So Jeremiah Kioni, we also have Mwangi Wairia, and, and also at the same time, they are bringing Maina Jenga, are saying that they are unaware of how Raila came to make that decision. In fact, if you look at them, their story behind the support that they have been given to Raila Odinga is that they were really preparing for no any other person but Raila Odinga for 2027 general election. That is the presidency that we are supposed to be having in 2027. So when they all of a sudden wake up and hear that Raila Odinga is going for, you know, the AU, AUC position, now they are left tongue-tied, you know, Things are changing all of a sudden. Vindu we change anger. So they are not happy per se. They are not happy because they do not know what Raila Odinga is supposed uh, to do next. They were not informed. Now, I was trying to look at this conversation deeply and I brought out factors that maybe led to them thinking that they had the rights for them to be informed by Raila Odinga of the next step that he was taking. And at the same time, they thought that Raila Odinga would not uh, be, you know, going into this with the backing of William Ruto and the team. Now, one thing that I noted out of that is that, first of all, we are bringing in the factor of Uru Kenyatta. You know, this discussion is a, such a serious one because sometimes you would be trying to weigh Raila Odinga and Uru Kenyatta and try to look at this position. Most of people have tried to argue that Uru Kenyatta was better placed also to go for this position. Raila Odinga was on the same same page, better placed to go for this position. So when you look at the current um, happenings and what has now come out, some of the Kenya Kwanza leaders and some of, uh, you know, the Gema community leaders in Azimio, both in Azimio and Kenya Kwanza, are feeling that this position was better place for Uru Kenyatta to go for it. In fact, they do not want Raila Odinga to be the one. Instead, Uru Kenyatta be given. So uh, perhaps the development of this conversation is informing uh, the likes of Jeremiah Kioni and uh, Mwangi Wairia in Maina Nyega, that Raila might have played his games. You remember what happened during the handshake? Those who were battling Raila Dinga, the men and women that he was with, okay, did not know that he would make the next step of having a handshake with Uru Kenyatta. And it led to disagreement, it led to separation at the end of the day. So even this one, when conversations are developing and they are seeing how Kenya Kwanza is really backing um, Raila Dinga right now, they are thinking that perhaps there is a way Raila Odinga played the tricks. So by playing the tricks, he ensured that no information is passed to the likes of Jeremiah Kioni. Yet Jeremiah Kioni and the team were really expecting that they would be informed of every move that Raila Odinga is taking. So that also led me to question, who then did Raila Odinga inform in Azimio? So I really trickled down and condensed them. Then I landed on Kalozo Musioka, I landed on Uru Kenyatta himself, and I also landed on Martha Karua. So when you talk of Kalozo Musioka, Kalozo knew that Raila Odinga is going to make this decision. In fact, if it was something that was in the kitchen, Kalozo was 
part of you know the chefs who are making this food because the moment you saw out uh, the way they embraced um, the interest that Raila Odinga gave you will not be questioning if somebody comes to tell you that right I mean Kalonzo did know exactly what Raila Odinga is going to do the same Martha Karua so Martha Karua and Kalonzo Musiala were very much close in their approximate actions in their approximate thinkings and everything in as far as Raila Odinga was going to make uh, this interest known to everybody so you bring about them and uh, you know that is very significant in the azimio uh, family right now the moment Raila Odinga leaves for that seat the one who is remaining is none other than Kalonzo Musyoka and the very probable running mate is Mata Karua in the hierarchy that we have right now so they are the big wigs and then when you copy that and paste in the cycle of Jeremiah Kioni, Mwangi Wairea and even Maina Njenga they have not been resonating on the same ground with the way Kalonzo Musyoka can drive as Emil going forward. Remember, it is Jeremiah Kenny who the other time said that if it won't be Raila Odinga, then it will be no one. In fact, he has been against Kalonzo Musyoka taking the mantle or the leadership of as Emil. So that is one thing that caused them to maybe try to dig deeper and <laughs> resonate with any insinuation that Raila might have played a game that they did not know yet. They were expecting that they should be actually be notified. Now, I'm bringing the aspect of Urkenyata to have been alerted by Raila Odinga in this sense. You know, this is a very powerful position. And I want to believe that everything that Raila Odinga is doing right now, Urkenyata must know. I know how they have really ensured that their game is Chiniamaji, but it is so much constructive, it is so much a uh, full of power behind the scenes that nobody is knowing. So if Uru Kenyatta is coming out to be a man that can create a network, can create a, a, a good standing for Raila Odinga to go for this seat. They had a sit down, a tete, a tete, so that they agree, you know, Baba, you go for this. I'm going to set for you the pace. I'm going to ensure the international platform or, or the African setting is behind you. As a matter of fact, Uru Kenyatta is a very instrumental figure for Raila Odinga, both in financing and uh, also in uh, trying to organize the network that he has had in Africa for Raila Odinga to get the best at the end of the day. So I want to believe that Uru Kenyatta was informed and he knew about this. The only engagement that is now coming on the conversation which is coming that Uru Kenyatta needed to have gone for this is not having any reasonable ground to tell us that Raila Odinga did not inform Uru Kenyatta. He needs Uru Kenyatta to the uh, last dot for this. He needs every support that he will actually garner uh, for, for him to make sure that he clinches the seat. So the aspect of William Bruto and the team coming on board, the fact that the government is behind Raila Odinga fully is in, in, in a sense, you know, some fiery <laughs> aspect, uh, missiles in the tumbos of Jeremiah Kioni and the team. And they're not happy because they know the benefit that is supposed to come at the end of the day. Whoever facilitates Raila Odinga so well will see the benefits after Raila Odinga clenches the seat. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? What is your take of this conversation? For me, I don't um, uh, believe or maybe ascribe to the fact that there is something that Raila Odinga did to Niamaj. Of course, we know that he is very careful with his moves and whoever he informs. And Jeremiah Kioni, Mwangi Wairia, Maina Njenga, they needed to tone down, you know, cool, cool, cool down, gentlemen. This is the biggest move that Raila Odinga actually made. And it, if he clinches the seat and he gets this thing, it will be something of the highest, uh, you know, fulfillment that will make him end his political career in a very, very um, prosperous way. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Let's connect. Let's catch up. I'll see you next. Have a great time.